Um, well, I was going to these community meeting, meetings with my dad, and um, I think it was the first meeting, and we got in groups, and we were brainstorming ideas that we could do for the community, and I was really shy, and I raised my hand, and I said we could paint something that represented um, this area, El Sur Reciente, and, and like over the couple weeks and months, I kept mentioning that idea until like one day they told me that they were gonna do it and I was freaking out because I, I didn't think they were gonna take a 12 year old's idea. It's supposed to speak to the community of uh, Floresiente here in uh, Moline, Illinois. Um, what we've done is uh, we've created a design on the pavement um, that sort of speaks to the different elements of their, of their culture, uh, different things that relate to their family and community. Um, inside here we've got uh, eight different pillars that I'd like to call the pillars of the community, um, you know, with air, uh, water, family, um, community, music, um, art and culture, faith, as well as uh, nature. Well, over here, I really like the school because it represents what is really celebrated in the Latin culture, um, which is the day, of, the day of the dead. And on the pillars, I really like the, the corn, the glass stained. I really like how it looks. And I think this is really going to bring the community together to, to look and like, really show what represents this area. I think the biggest challenge for me is I'm not, I don't live in this community. So the biggest challenge for me was research and making sure that what I was designing and what I was portraying to the public was from their minds and their culture. I mean, I had to dip into their brains and I had to kind of sort of let go of my, my creativity and what I would want to see because it wasn't about me, it was about them. So that was probably the biggest challenge about this. I think the biggest thing about public art is what it does for the immediate community. Um, I keep calling it, I know it's, it's, I'm repeating myself over and over, but I keep calling it sort of like the common thread. Um, you know, it becomes a landmark. It's what, you know, people sort of are unified by. Um, people that are not, not even artists can relate to it as they're passing by, or artists themselves can relate to it. Um, I, I just think it's something that brings a, you know, color and um, sort of smiles to the different people that live in the area, and also people that are passing through. But I'm hoping what they get out of this is an appreciation for the arts. I mean, obviously, they, the, some of these young people have come, by, come back multiple times, have almost put in as many hours as I have um, with their love for this project. So whether it's because it's for their community or whether it's for, or, or for love for art or whether it's for both, I hope they walk away with, the, with the, a feeling of sort of pride um, that they worked hard and uh, created something beautiful for, for the people that live in this community. So. You know, I think a lot of times when, like, I remember telling one of my friends, and I don't think they believed me, and that, like, I kind of, I didn't really, like, I just told, I was just a 12-year-old at this community meeting with a bunch of adults, and I just said an idea, and now it's coming true, and um, when I tell people when I'm older, I think they'll really, I'll, it would really be a connection when we can, like, Let's say my friends or my children, like they, I may inspire them somehow to do bigger things in life.